this bitch loved the carpet so much, she went out and got her pair of pants just like it. Chad and I took a break to share a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Tomorrow we're gonna do peanut butter and banana and honey, but today was just, I just really wanted the jelly. That's what you I was gotta, thinking about. You gotta start with the, uh, the go-to, mm. the standard. And it was his idea to toast it. Good call. Yeah, you have to. I normally don't, but you know what? I should start more. Mm. Working hard or hardly working. No, working hard. I'm tired as fuck. But like, we don't really do anything. It's just like long. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're just in there. Like, it's not hard work. It's just long work. It's consistent. I wish we would just fake it and get all of our fake ass reaction shots in one day and then leave and let everything else happen. Like, it would just be us going like, just bang, just bang it out. I love it. It's great. Goodbye. Or like, we react to tapes all at once. <laughs> yeah, they could just get us saying like, we loved your personality like 18 different ways. That's what I'm saying. I know you thought of some really bad street names before you came up with Mad Chad, so what, what have you came up with? I had, yeah, okay, so this, I didn't come up with this, but people called me Kendall. And this is you. I call you Kendall you all the time. It, but that was like, that was like this close to being my popping name. Oh my God, that would have ruined you and in the in the hip hop community. Kendall. Kendall, but then I had, but then I had a good, I had a great idea for a name. I was like, ooh, All right, guys, here figure. we go. That's not bad. That's action not figure? figure? Action figure. That was... G.I. Joe would have been better. G.I. Chad? That would have been dope. G.I. Chad would be good. I can't wait to hear yours after this commercial break. <laughs> step, step two. It's magic. I didn't know he was a magician. Before. It's magic. Okay, talk about your bad names. Okay, too. there's there's only one main one. And it was basically... We, we thought of it. We... I sadly thought of this one before I found out it was Dietrichs. But before Dietrichs, pre-Dietrichs, it was Tricky D. It's tricky to rock a D. It's tricky to rock a D. It's tricky to rock a D. It's on the map. Wow. Tricky D. That just sounds. It just. You got a tricky D. No, it should. Be, if that was the case, it'd be extremely small D. Oh well. Same. Wait, what's, same, my, what's you, my name? Gabs. Oh, what would Gabby's B girl? Please name give me a B girl name right now. Top of the noggin. I. The Great Gambino. <laughs> Gabby. Really? Yeah. That's the, it? Yeah, the freaking Gabino. Babe Ruth. He was the king. You can't call me Babe, but it'd be Gabby. I feel like it would be like, ugh, I don't know. I feel like it'd be, I don't know. I don't know. Yo we'll Gabby come up with Gabby. something. Yo Before Gabs. this show is wrapped, I will have a B boy. It'll be like Yo Gabba Gabba. We can't even talk about all the crazy names. We'll be back, but like, they're, these B boy names are like fucking like, like blue boogers and like skittery <laughs> dump shits. Like, what the fuck? It's bad. It gets bad. It's bad, but yeah. we're gonna find one for you. Okay. Holy fucking good morning. Uh, <laughs> day four of dance showdown. I was supposed to be there at 7 a.m. It is right now 9.15. Yeah, two hours late. So I'm driving and trying to do my makeup and vlogging safe. Um, it, we're like at sort of a standstill right now, but I woke up, literally looked at the clock and I just confusion like, ah. Uh, uh, like you've ever done that like you wake up and you just know it's wrong But you don't know why it's wrong yet because you're asleep. That's what's happening So I had so many missed calls from the producer so many texts They sent a PA to my house to look for my car to make sure I wasn't fucking dead Reality of the situation is my body just gave up. They like really packed on the schedule So every day so far has been like 7 a.m to about like 6 to 8 p.m. Like in, they're all, you know, whatever. Either way, they're all like 12 to 14 hour days, which means in order to get there, I have to wake up at like 5 a.m. and traffic on the way home. I don't get home until like 8.30, 8, 8.30 p.m. So basically it's just a lot. And then when I get home, I have to like film, edit, answer emails. That's why I haven't had a vlog up in so long. You're not gonna see this for a while. Literally just blended while crossing four lanes of traffic. So my body has just been feeling really gross lately because I usually work out every day. I hadn't worked out for four days or three days at that point. I had been eating like shit, not eating my regular scheduled meals, not getting the right like nutrients in. I just like felt gross. So last night I was like, I know that I just like, I need to work out no matter how tired I am, no matter what time. Um, so at 9 p.m. there was a Zumba class. It's one that I know that I really, really like. I went and my body was just exhausted. It, it was a lot of extra energy, energy that I should have not exerted and it was late. And then um, because I took a nap as soon as I got home before Zumba because I like was literally dying, I just, it, it took me a long time to fall asleep last night. Um, I was just like really, really, really fucking anxious. So I didn't fall asleep until probably 2.30 or 3. Yeah, 2.30 or 3. I had four alarms set and I didn't wake up to any of them. It's too many two hour sleep nights in a row. But I feel like shit because I'm so fucking late and they still have to put me through hair and makeup as I'm trying to do my makeup as I get there so that they don't like 
lose their fucking minds. <laughs> just did my eyebrows while going down the fucking highway. I was just telling Chad this story and I decided I wanted to pull up the vlog. Talking about screenings. He was talking about one that he was at and I was like, oh, I was at that one too. And it was a pretty small screening, right? Zootopia, I think. Right? Yeah, and I was like, how did I not see yeah. you? And then I Disney realized World. when I was at the Zootopia screening, me and my friends are was with turned around and we saw him sitting by himself. We're like, who? is that and we were just like trying to figure out and then his wife and his kid came in and we were like damn it <laughs> yeah everybody's really mad at me today which you know understandably so for being mad at me because only really three hours late yeah were you mad I, I was honestly a little bit we were a little bit concerned they were concerned they thought i was dead hi guys i don't think i told you guys yesterday because i figured i shouldn't uh vlog and drive mm -hmm. given the the circumstance right i backed into hannah's car yesterday she, yep she did i you know how some people have a budget where they're like, this is for my food, this is for my bills, this is my rent. I have one for cars that I hit. Right. And uh, this is part of the budget for this month. Yeah, I was fixing, one of the casualties. <laughs> fixing Hannah's bumper. I felt so bad because she was like so stressed and so upset about it. And I was like, I really just fucked up her whole day. So now we're looking for a place. By the way, say hi, Hannah. Hi. <laughs> I swear to God, the guy that's working on this car right now is actually a character at the UCB. Oh my fucking... God, his cigarette is so long. It's I... fake. Like, it's gotta it's be a prop. Not a real... yeah. Hello, it is Future Gab, editing past Gab's vlog. I wrapped on Dance Showdown, and I still did not get a B-girl name, which is upsetting. So let me know in the comments below what my B-girl name is. I'm very interested to know. <sighs> also, I really need to stop hitting people's cars. <laughs> I'm tired. And I still don't have a sign off.